Hey everyone, it's Shirley here. Today I'm going to be doing a test. In this corner we have acorn seam line glue. That's what I normally use. My tip broke on the top, so what I did was I put it into a Recollections Precision Tip Bottle. So that's in this corner. In this corner we have Elmer's Washable Clear School Glue. And again, I've put it in a little bottle and we're going to do a test. So in this test, on one half of my curved piecing, I'm going to use the seam line glue and on this half I'm going to use the Elmer's Washable Glue Clear. This is full strength and I have a couple of sample pieces here too that we'll use those in a bit. The Acorn Seam Align Glue, you use heat to adhere it. So let's start out with the Acorn. In my video that I'd done previously, I took it just put a drop of the Seam Align Glue and you don't need very much of this. I'm going to place my fabrics right sides together. And with my iron, I'm just going to press that. That's what the instructions say to do. And you can see it is adhered. Okay. So normally what I do, I'll place my pin in the center. Place pin at this end to hold my fabric straight. So with the seam align glue, I'm going to put a little tiny bit at the end, take my tweezers and line this up with my iron. I'm going to press it so it adheres. Now that's adhered down, you can see. I'll put a pin in there, just hold that so that this piece stays flat and I can now maneuver this piece. I'm going to run my seam align glue just along the edge of that piece, like I did in the previous video. And again, you don't want to use very much. And now I'll position this into place. it's holding there pretty good and again it's holding pretty good here now if I go to move this it will come apart because it recommends that you press it into place and that's what I always done so now Check that out. Just going to remove my pins and it has adhered down. So now we're going to try the Elmer's school glue. Place my pin back in there. Place my pin back in here. And now I want to be using this. So I'm going to place just a tiny little bit on that edge. Use my tweezers again to line up my fabric. Now with my iron, I'll just put it on there and see if ironing it with heat will adhere it. And does it adhere? It obviously has, so now I'll put that back into place. Pin it back there. Oh, I don't want to be using that. I want to be using this. I'm going to use this and just run a very small amount along the cut edge of that curve. 
and I'll do the same thing that I did before lining up my cut edges using my finger just to hold it down there So now it's in place and it feels like it's holding, but I'll give it a touch with the iron. Take my pins out. Well, I can see no difference. Both glues are holding it in place. Okay. Some people will use glue stick. I have not found that I have very much luck using glue stick. Okay, so now I'm going to set that off to the side. And now on this piece, I'm going to use the Elmer School Glue. And... I'm going to run a bead of glue just along the edge I'll take my fabric and just put it so that I'm matching the cut edges I'm going to press that in place Now I'm going to take my other little sample and with the seam aligned glue I'm going to run a bead along the cut edge and I'll place my fabric together matching the seam line or matching the cut edges. Give it a press with the iron. I'll test this one to make sure that it's not going to come apart. And that has stuck. Take this one. And yes, that one has stuck. Now, the reason I did it on this sample was because now I want to know how easy is it to remove the piece if you need to reposition it. So on this sample, I'm going to take it and pull it apart. And it's coming off nicely. What about this one? This one comes off a little bit easier. Both of them are washable. Now, what if I want to re-stick it? So what I have here is a little bit of water and I'm just going to dip my finger in the water and I'm just going to run it along there. Use a different finger. Run that along there. And now I'm going to see if I can reposition it without adding more glue. Heat that with the iron. And heat this one with the iron. Okay. Now, what I want to test is, is it easy to reposition it with just water. Did it hold? Uh, not really. Okay. Did this one hold with just using water? Yes. This one held. 
pull and see if it's going to come off easy. And yes, it is. Does it make any difference to the fabric? No. This one, I feel, failed to do the repositioning. After testing both products, I feel the Elmer's School Glue did perform just as well as the Acorn Seamaline Glue. Give this a try when you get around to it and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.